Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. I just love the opening of Henry V. I think it's one of the greatest sort of introductory speeches here. I just did the first six lines of it uh, here. It goes on much longer than that as it is setting up here because it's all about imagination. Um, and that whole speech as you go on into it later here is talking about that, oh, we can't, we don't have a million actors. I can't bring the fields of France here. I don't have all this scenery. I don't have got all this stuff here. What I got is people and your imagination here. Um, and so it's, it's really about getting an, an audience to to use their own minds and their own imaginations. Um, he says, peace out our imperfections with your thoughts. Sonnet 29. When, in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope with what I most enjoy, content at least. Yet, in these thoughts myself almost despising, happily I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings.